Welcome back to Pocket Ants. One of the things that I want to do is you see this giant Oof. army. I want to try to get some more resin because if we're going to make another run at, I think they're actually hornets and not bees. But if we want to make another run at the hornet nest there, we're going to need resin. And in order to do that, we're going to have to battle the termite <laughs> army. So what I'm going to do is have all of my workers stop working on other things, right? So they're going to continue with the resources they have and drop it off. And we've got ample amounts of food here to resupply all of the workers, or rather, all of the workers and soldiers we are going to lose. And if it does, in fact, rain randomly, hopefully, it is my dream for it to rain because we still want to get, I think it's a dragonfly. There's some flying ones. Okay, so I'm going to recruit an army, and one of the things that I want to do is... Position, excuse me, not there. I need a position army because there's a few termites that will spawn out of this crack, right? So this is going to be a resin run in a battle with the termites. We're gonna put our warriors here. Oh, see, they're coming down here. What you doing, mate? And then we're gonna have to get this little resin node. Yeah, see, they just popped out right there. Okay, so my army's here. And what we're going to do is everybody on resin, 149. And I'm just gonna be holding the line here and then securing this spot while the other flag is controlling that. So let's check the map and let's see that. There's a massive exodus of all of my ants at once coming. And this is a way to try to protect as many as possible. See, cause this is the only resin patch that we're gonna be able to harvest. And so workers and occasional termite soldiers will come down here and we're gonna have to dispatch, well, quite frankly, all of them so they don't kill our workers so they can be as efficient as possible getting resin back to the base. Okay, so they're almost here. They're gonna be pouring up. Okay, look on the mini map now. They're pouring over our little banner and just look at how many ants are gonna be making it here. Oh, then the soldiers have, I guess, heard some of the commotion and are deciding to come on down here. Look at this, man. All of that, hey, hey, get out of there. You're not supposed to be here. No one's supposed to be here. What TV show was that from? Oh, here's big old soldier. Let's eat him, eat that soldier. And let's see, how many workers have we lost? We sent 149. Wow, there's actually still 149. So we should see our resin number go from 270 to, you know, a lot more now. Oh, there's another soldier. Yeah, but like, I wonder how many termites we fought. See, the problem with the termites is unlike the red ants, which you can see on the minimap, they'll slowly resupply over time. The termites are infinite. So that's really, it's really a shame because you just have to deal with them in a much different way. So let's see, 270. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that resin number jump up. Now, it's not in the top left. It's not one of the four primary resources. I'm wondering if that's going to change. Hey, guys, let, let, let's help him out here. We, we had a soldier battling a termite warrior, and he was he didn't look like he was winning. So needless to say, there's, you know, quality in numbers here. Okay, so they should be getting back shortly. Oh, they're almost there. So 270 is the number, and we're still holding this. Oh, yeah, see, look. The workers are spawning down here, and we're just dispatching them, which is good. Otherwise, they would they would eat our our workers. Okay, and look at that number just skyrocketing Stonks. up from 270 to well, I mean, if if the maximum is 3,000, because I I really want to go on a hornet run. There's also some other upgrades we can do, but all of that is just going to require lots of resin, and that's a resource that you essentially have to babysit. So they're all starting to come back now, but they're gonna come back slowly. So I'm wondering if what you do is actually have them all come back in one giant wave instead of piecemeal like this. We'll try this on the third one. Cause there's all sorts of things like this is the thing we really, really want. Uh, the one that's browned out right there because that is what allows you to trick the hornets or the bees into thinking you're one of them. So it allows you to get in their nest. You guys have been telling me that there's some epic bugs that you're going to be able to spawn in if you can make it in and out of that nest. It was really weird. I was expecting it kind of be like a red ant nest where you go in and like try to dominate it, but it's not like that at all. It's interesting. It's, it's almost more like the fire ant nest on the map here in the upper left than anything else. Get that warrior out of my lines. So this is what resin harvesting looks like. It's, it's a brutal affair. It's just, you really have to just duke it out and battle it. Make sure you have a ton of food handy to replace all the fallen soldiers and fallen workers that you're gonna have. But I mean, 
if there's a quest for destroying even more termites, I wonder what it is, like kill a thousand? We'll be there shortly. Oh, yeah, defeat a thousand termites. We've almost killed a thousand here. We'll probably do that actually in this video. So good work, ants. Good work. I had another thing that I was kind of curious about, and that was if we should change the color of our ants. You can do that. See, look at all these different colors, right? It's kind of cool. There's a lot of ant colors out there. And I'm wondering, maybe we should have something a little bit more epic. Should we become? Well, we can't be red, because then red ants versus red ants. Would they be? Would they then be black ants? Those soldiers really mess you up. All right, so they're going to be coming back again. How much resin do we have? 470. And if we get 2,000, we can increase. I think by having, like, maybe two to be able to get this, that would be really good. Oh, my God, do we hit it? I think we hit it. A 1,000 termites. That's just insane. That's an insane number. Defeat 10,000 termites. Oh, my gosh. Upgrade the resin chamber to level eight. 25,000 termites. 50,000. Are there a hundred? Okay, this is getting silly. 250,000 termites. 500,000 termites. Is there? There's really a million termites. Has someone done that? I mean, that would be... Resources depleted? What? No way. Wait a minute. What? Oh, and now it's up here? Oh my gosh, there's, a, there's another one. Oh no, I've got to mark this. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Okay, now recruit the soldiers back because all my workers are coming. Okay, luckily these, these soldiers are coming to join me too. Oh, okay, so at least another one spawns on the tree. I was worried for a little bit that we were going to have no luck. Now all the workers are arriving. Guys, get, 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 get these warriors. And we have lost... Wow, we've only lost one worker. See, this is how effective the resin raiding can be done. And you could probably do it even a little bit more so that they all just run in one batch. Let's see, are we at 600? Oh my God, we're at 900. We might be able to get 2,000. But 7,500 would allow us to increase the number of time that we could deal with the hornet nest. I'm gonna call it the hornet nest because I believe they're hornets. No, are they bees or hornets? That's the question. Bees or, well, there's honeycomb, right? It's gotta be bees. It's gotta be bees. Yep, I take it back. They're bees, but I think there's a special unit out there or a special bug you can capture, which is a hornet. Of course the queen's hungry. We're losing, oh, we actually lost a couple more this time. Probably because, oh, I know why. I know why. Hold on, we need to fix this. We are farmers, <laughs> just kidding. No, we are running out our flag. Oh my God, that's why. These guys are just running amok. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Can I put my flag down? No, I can't. Dang it. Okay, everybody back, everybody back. Stop, stop, stop. We'll go back to our regular duties here. And you know what, since I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon a bug in and attack that and kill these red ants. I think that is in order. Yeah, we're doing that. Come on, boys. Let's go see what we got. Also, the army needs to be continually put back and I need to figure out where we want the defense. Put our tiger beetle there, a sign, boom. Okay, good. So a few ants to deal with, and then we can summon in a bug, although if it does rain, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of holding out hope that it will rain while we're playing. Almost there. Okay, we did lose two. I guess there's only six of them left. We should be able to deal with this relatively easily, especially when I'm sending, you know, 10 soldiers against the one. All right, yep, two soldiers left, boys. You know what to do. You, you you know what to do. Go do it. Look at how the, so <laughs> the supporting guys just come in here. We'll get a few resources for it. The red ants have been eliminated. All right. Is it raining? <gasps> no, it's not. Well, we've got nine pheromones. And so this is the one thing you can do. So you got to raise your rank to get golden and platinum pheromones. And we're not there yet. So we just got to summon in a regular old bug. And it's a praying mantis. So I think what we'll do here is, let's see, do we have room for it? I guess we do. And we could try to get our first tier three, but we're gonna battle this guy. This boring old, I remember the first time we fought a praying mantis, I was like, that thing is so cool. All right, stand away from it so we don't die. Now watch your guys just destroy it. 
And we're definitely gonna capture him just so we keep the field open for the spawning of another bug. I think that's the key. If you leave the body out, I'm not sure. I don't know for certain. It would need to be tested. But that's that. And I'd say we found a pretty good way. We, we've shown off how effectively to take the resin spots. Don't rain now. I mean, I'd be okay with it raining just because I haven't seen it in forever. So that's how you mine for resin efficiently. You send everybody out and you put a squad using your flag at that little uh, crack. Look at that. Good Mantis. That means he needs to be assigned to the defense. There we go. So hopefully we, we lose less in our defenses. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Pocket Ants. If you've got any tips or tricks or crazy bugs or ways to get them, let me know. Thank you for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.